Hey everybody, welcome back to Carriage Play Sukon 2. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Keeping it low key on this yeah, uh, Sunday morning. Early morning vibes. Sunday morning, early Sunday morning for us. Yeah. yeah settle in, <laughs> wake up with us. Or fall asleep to this. Fall asleep. Uh, okay. I'm getting a bad feeling. Carrie, here it comes. Boss. Okay, nice. that's a nice transition. They've been hyping up this mist monster. And then just like... Do you think and this... it sells it so hard, it's like such a cool looking... Do you think this is informed by that first boss battle in um, Final Fantasy IV? Oh, maybe. In the mist cave? I'm not super familiar with Final Fantasy IV, but... I'll... It was just that first... I mean, and I think this one, this mist monster has multiple forms as well. Well, and something like I was, what I was actually thinking about with like the design of this, uh, it kind of reminds me of like in like, like or like Final Fantasy VI, like how like the bosses would be sort of this 2D sprite, but it would be a still image. Uh -huh. And I like how they can um, sort of really bring it to life with just a like a, a couple slight, of frames. Yeah, a couple framed animation there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Does anybody need healed? Uh, Joey looks a little low. Yeah, it does. Make, can, Maybe Vulcan. Vulcan yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. So something that's kind of unique is uh, unstable characters, like after using a big Unite or certain runes, can still use items. So they almost, like those strong characters almost become like healers in a way with like, medicine. Would have Rina used a rune? Sure, yeah. So fire runes. 60 damage, all right. Yeah. Uh, and the conceit of, like, the... Should, it, should we use a firewall? Um, let's do it. You're saying? Um, it's something about, like, the conceit of how magic works in the Suicode universe, because it was never, it's never specifically said, or very clearly. That's awesome. But it's magic tattoos, essentially. Uh -huh. You know, you're, you're putting tattoos on your body that allow you to use magic. Um, and they're, like, in the kind of the backstory, they're quasi-sentient. Yeah. D depending on how powerful the rune, uh, your magic well, tattoo is. I mean, is. there's, like, some good lore um, with the runes. And, you know, the 27 true runes and all of the lesser runes are sort of, like, branched off from the true runes. Yeah. And it seems like Sukon 2 is, like, the one that really starts building up some of that lore more. I mean, obviously, some of it's in... Um, the first one. All right, does anybody need to heal? Joey's kind of low again. Yeah. But it's an, it's an interesting flavor, and it's not just your pat, you know, standard role-playing game magic system. You think Ellie should heal? Uh... Joe here. No, he's probably fine. Maybe. Crush your fingers. For some reason, I thought this had two different forms. I don't remember. I thought I remembered. I think that's clever, you know, like, Bulgan's rune is the fire bro what, Did we kill him? Whoa. That was easy. But um, it imbalances him because it's like blowing up a balloon, you get lightheaded. Oh, yeah, I mean that, but like also that the, his Unite attack is basically that same rune, but him putting all, even more energy, needing his sisters to like hold him forward, there's so much force. Or is it, are they like pressing on his lungs to get more? Oh, maybe. I'm not sure. Huh, I guess that's not clear. That was scary. You were right, Rena. It's a good thing Carrie and his friend were here with, uh, were with us. It's also funny that it's like that's a little character moment. Um, Ellie uh, remembering Carrie's name, but not Joey's name. Yeah. And like that sort of her. Yeah, it's like she already has a preference. Yeah. Um, and, and like that kind of plays into the story a little bit later. And you, with his ellipses here, like you can. 
like I sort of imagine Joey being like a little bit off put because like you know I, I think is that Joey thinks of himself as as like your your hero is at least what well, like your partners you're not you know if anything Ellie yeah. just you know insinuated that like Joey's the sidekick yeah it sure was Karen and I couldn't have handled it alone either or maybe I'm reading too much into that I'm hungry haha <laughs> let's get going I think we're just about there should we go back and save it or no push let's, on? Yeah, let's push on maybe we should heal up if there's anybody uh Probably all right. Okay. I mean, I'd like this area just to go back. Like, I like how the trees look with the fog. Yeah, it's really Down pretty. There. Kind of reminds me of um, like some Sumie ink paintings. Uh huh. And I think they sort of. Um, when we get back out there, I think like their tile set is pretty good because it looks pretty, it doesn't look as rigid as just square tiles. I think there's some sort of... I, 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 you're right, maybe it's they, it's not, it's individual pieces placed together, not tiles. I don't know, it's, yeah, I don't know what they're doing there. You know, it's probably some sort of... Somebody probably yeah. knows. I think there are even people who have taken these assets and reuse them for fan games. There's a way to see. So something about my personality type is like I really get stressed when there's a um, like branch in the road because like I always want to go the path with the treasure chest. Yeah. How many times do you start going down the path and discover that that's the way you're supposed to go? And yeah, and then I backtrack. turn around. Yeah. I wonder how many people do that. Just a little further north, and we can see Kiaro Town. Come on, Carrie. <laughs> I just, Cairo Town just sounds better than Kiaro Town. Well, I've been saying it for 20 damn years, Cairo Town, because that's what I assumed it was. But, you know, it's been a couple years in Japanese class. So that's where we part company. And, like, okay, this is just a little conversation letting you know that party members are leaving as soon as you get get to your destination. Yeah, I think that that's, that's something I really like in Suicon too. Is... Before you head in, let's poke around the, this province. Okay. I think there are things to, that you can see. Like the, uh, you can even go to that um, pass. The one that we just came from? The, the one where you start the game. Oh. I think it's, I think it's around here. Okay. Try to find it. Um, I don't know if I've ever done that before. Yeah, I mean something in, like, in this part of the game. Oh yeah, uh, something that uh, yeah, but I like in Seacon too is like party members being fluid, like coming and going and coming again, and uh, you know, just sort of building that. Not everybody's life revolves around you, especially at this point in the game. Yeah. Yep. Tens and pass. I'm curious if there's gonna be any. Oh. Oh. Hey, you! Nobody's, Nobody's allowed. That's his point. If you didn't know what was going on there, Joe and I said that at the time. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to know what the audio will be like. What's this place to the north? <laughs> Where did it come down from? It's like Spider Man PS1. This PS1 Spider-Man logic. I see. Yeah. There's like just you know, satellites, maybe or something. <laughs> I love that unite attack animation, spinning around. And, you know, like, my everything just is so polished. Yeah. You know, my favorite unite attack though hmm. is uh, the hero anatomy. Oh, sure. Yeah. Spoilers. Little puff balls. Like, okay, so these are obviously some sort of animal in the Suicoden universe, but what what do they eat? <laughs> you know, what do they <laughs> why are they attacking you? 
and information. Yeah, and I mean, there's like so much polish and thought put into like all the other aspects of the game, but I think nothing. At, at, hmm. I wonder why there's a road leading up here. So you say? Um, there's so much attention put into other parts of the game. Right, but that just because it was part of the genre, it had to it had to adopt these things that don't really make sense. But I mean, the thing is, what would stand in its place? You know, yeah. what would be the appropriate filler? Block and, puzzles. Well, yeah, and you know, a game like Catherine, it's like okay, you know, you put anything as filler, mm -hmm. and it, and it most of the time it works. Anything else? No, I think that's I think that's uh, it. I just maybe if we enter from the back side of town, something different will happen. Oh, probably not. <laughs> But you never know. So, like, I think what we were saying early on, too, was, like, this United Attack with Joey is, like, you're using this a lot. Yeah. It's extremely valuable. Speeds up battles if you, like, just take the time just to go in there and say to do it. You know, they don't get knocked down. They attack everything. Kill everything, almost it's, always. Yeah, I intentionally OP to show what a great team you are. And so when Joey's gone, like, you really feel... You do enter from the back side of town. Oh, neat. We finally made it back, Carrie. That's neat. Yeah. Wow, so this is your town? It's really nice. This is where we say goodbye. It was fun traveling with you. So where do you live? Maybe we could drop by next time we're in town. <laughs> well, my house is to the north, where the road ends, and Carrie's house is off to the west. So, once again, like... Um, building in things in narratively. This is there's something that I like. This line right here, what Joey says, it's not a waypoint. It's not even like pops up a menu after this conversation is done, says go west. It's he's telling another character information that you happen to need right now as well. Right, yeah. Clever. So like Joey and Carrie obviously should know where their house is, so why would they if somebody need to tell them where to go? It's, but we don't. We need to know where to go. Yeah. I think it's just kind of clever. I just take a left at that path. Okay, thanks. See you later. Take care of yourselves. Right. <laughs> See, yeah. She stops to look back. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, that leader of the mercenaries has got me worried. I'm going straight home. Nanami's probably waiting. Uh, so you should go home too. But be careful, okay? I'll see you later. Yeah, Tranquil Village. It's like war again. Everything, everyone's screaming for blood. I can't forgive what the city-state did either, but war is hell. Yeah. And I think it's you're going to see by talking to everybody, everybody is under the... that every young person from the... young man from the town has been killed in the raid. Uh-huh. You know, so everybody's going to be pissed off. Oh, I don't believe you're a spy, but everyone else says if they catch you, they'll wring your neck. Nanami should be home right now. Hurry up and see her. Like there's concern and for you and a familiarity with you. These people know who you are, and, and like at least this lady cares. Yeah, you're gonna get, you know. So that one gal's like, okay, state attack. So pissed off. That other gal's like, you, you're Carrie. How dare you show your face here? You won't get away with this. <laughs> like you're not. You don't feel welcome too. Like no. the moments like that, and then even that lady who's being friendly with you. She's like, you may, yeah. You best get out of here. Like or, this is like because I like you. I'm telling you, nobody here is gonna trust you, and wants you know, wants you dead. Yeah. Do you know my big brother hasn't come back yet? I asked my mom, but she doesn't know when he'll be back. Uh huh. You know, a little bit of storytelling. And you know, normally I wouldn't talk to every NPC, and I won't hear either. But um. Like, I think it's important for, like, if we're getting into game design, like, NPCs are, are important, and, like, what they say, and they could just say something simple and stupid and meaningless, but, like, they, they add con- in this week on two, they add context, add world building, add- And you can engage with it as, as much or as little as you want, mm -hmm. you know, in that moment. You're seasoning your game to taste. Eek! What are you doing here? You, you're Carrie, stop! 
And that wasn't me running out, it forced me to run out. Hey, I've seen you before. You're from this town, right? Did you hear? The Artrades boy. He was in the army, but now they say he, has an, he was an enemy spy. I wonder why. That boy had everything money could buy. Looks like he was tempted into, uh, by that boy from the dojo. <laughs> ah, help, help! Who's yelling help there? Them. I assume they recognized you? Oh. Um, who's this guest looking dude? Is that like the first time that, like, it's sort of the class difference has been this, this, uh, described between Joey and yeah. Carrie, and then also, like, their perception of, like, you're a bad influence on him? Yeah, you're from the wrong side of town. Looks like Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, well. okay. You'll be wow. embarrassed if you'll do an impression. Yeah. Wow, Captain Rout is amazing. I heard that he was so brave during the state attack. And like Rout's the one spinning the message. Right, because yeah. What else would he do? How would Sorry, he... everybody. I just was making sure that the audio is still gone. Sometimes like our audio just. Cool room. Uh, like in like, the little chest, chest box up there. Cookbooks. So it's somebody's pantry. Yeah, what can I do for you, huh, Jurgen Kaku's boy? Okay. Hello there, huh, you're Carrie. You made it back safe. Yeah. So, and like, Oh, hello. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I think, you know, some NPCs just having little lines like that, like, doesn't bother me because it just, it's sort of adding, um, not everybody needs to have, like, a character moment with a little cutscene of you running out. You know, some things can just be a little nod or a little... And But you're getting a spectrum of, of uh, reaction from you coming back. You know that it's negative. You know that things are, are wrong, but like you're getting some people who are friendly, some people who are just dismissive. You know, you're, you're getting that... You're, you're walking into a town and you're getting a flavor, but it's, it's nuanced. Uh -huh. It's hitting you in a couple different levels. That guy's talking about, oh, what can I... Carrie, what are you doing here? You should take Nanami and run, run far, run far, far away. Yeah. And so, like, this guy, he probably, you know, this, that's the, he knows maybe something's up. Mm -hmm. Like, he knows not to trust Roud. And he's like, uh... And yeah, because he probably knows you, like, maybe you and Nanami like to come and eat here because, you know, your Genkaku's died, so you, you know, yeah. come to this little restaurant thing. I'm going to volunteer, too. We can't just sit here and let them do that to us. The peace agreement was a trap. The state is a bunch of creeps, all of them. I'm sorry, everyone's just so mad. You're, you're Carrie, aren't you? What are you doing? Hurry up and run away. Yeah, so this, these people seem more familiar with you and are sympathetic. Uh-huh. But isn't this guy saying it's the state's fault? Well, no, the, these are different. Oh. Like, I mean, talking about the, the restaurant oh. owner and the, the, oh, the waitress. Yeah. Well, something that I like about, like, that guy saying it's the state's fault is, like, once again, like, what is the message being spun here? You can't exactly blame everybody when they're just... Did you check upstairs in the inn? Oh, no. When they're just, you know, believing what people are telling them. You know, Roud's like a captain of... in the... Yeah, that's a respectable authority figure. He was the leader of the Unicorn Brigade, which was the heart and soul of the city. Yeah. If you don't hurry, this place will be in trouble, too. You should run away. There's nothing here for you anymore. Yeah. Underlining that. Ooh. Oh, first. Oh, oh. no, we met him. Yeah. yeah. I travel around and collect old stories from people I meet. I heard that a hero once lived in this town, but nobody will tell me any more than that. <laughs> Wonder who that was. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Are we ready? Can Do we you... go see Joey's place? I think you can, or I assume that it's, the gate is locked. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tightly closed guy. And yeah, you're saying it's like Joey's digs. Yeah, like just a preview of. And then like your place is kind of off in the boonies. Yeah. I hike up the old mountain path. All right, so we're not using a guide to collect characters. 
so this is just all from memory. But, you know, theoretically, you could have, <laughs> like, happened to go up here, but, you know, I, I, it was something that I've been thinking about with, like, ga art, game design, is, like, having really hidden Easter eggs like this. So you come up here, here's a tree, you know, it looks kind of interesting, maybe you're, you know, and it's just, like, if you happen to come and click on the tree, and do you go and clockwise, you have, to do, or? you have to do it, I think, like, three times. And then you walk around the... I think then he does it automatically. Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> Completely secret party member. And you c can get this character later in the game, to be fair. Yeah. And it sort of, like, I sort of excuse it because, um, in, like, it, it's sort of Nanami and the Hero's wild pet squirrel. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, I don't have a problem with pretty hidden secrets. It is a little bit harder to get all 108 characters if without a fac. Yeah. So you can too. But I mean, also this game already, rec I think it's built for repeat playthroughs with like hit nods. Yeah. If you can go back to Toto and it's, it's like fun game to replay. It's not like a one and done, I don't think. Right. So, and I think that how the 108 sys character systems built is sort of also encourages that. And it's not like you get a bad game if you don't get all of the characters, you know, you, you don't you get like a more bittersweet ending. Yeah. You know. I think I like the. Yeah. I don't, no spoilers. Okay. So okay, you see some sticks over there. That's uh, probably under the bath, right? You have to load in the the so kindling. What like large face put inside is punishment? What what does that mean? Put, I don't it's know. Like, that's disturbing. Like did Genk like have you got in trouble instead of a timeout? You got put in this vase. I seems aft. Huh. All right, before we go in, I think that's about uh, an episode's worth. Yeah. We'll beat the Miss Monster. Think about all the things we've done. Yeah. Aren't you ready for your morning now? <laughs> or sleep? <laughs> or whenever you're watching this. But, yeah, I love the outside of this dojo. Tendo dojo vibes. Yeah. Like, it's a little rundown, but it's uh, scenic. What, it's, what would be the... Um, Serene. Majestic. Um, tranquility. Yeah. Meditation. All right. Uh, we'll see you guys next time, uh, and you will see Nanami join join us. Yep. All right. Bye. Join us next time on Friday. Bye.